we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Father of forgiveness, because of the sin of rebellion where they haven't repented our ancestors' sins, that's why I'm now suffering. If I don't repent that rebellion, I kill myself and my children again. With this re realization, may we confess completely with the blood of Christ that promise of love. May we become a new person. The disasters and curses in our house households make Satan be cast out, out, the darkness depart, and to change to light. And may we and our children live as patriots. May they become obedient. May there be sibling affection. And May we become people who give benefit to our country and our people. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. So to say you're born with some destiny or fate. Oh, when I was young, I wasn't educated, so it's over. Don't be deceived by what the demons say. What you do with your IQ, EQ, your head, don't listen to that the beastly things, but to hear God's word. God's word, if there is something that you don't want to hear, then that's a sign that you're being ruined. So Proverbs chapter 15, verse 12, those with demons, those who are to be ruined, they don't listen to the wise, the, the pastor of wisdom, but they go to these fake churches where it's pleasing to hear. The sermon that's pleasing to hear, that is the sermon of heresy, 2 Peter chapter 2, verse 1. They'll go there, but they won't go to where the sermon pierces their hearts. And so that's why it's like with like. The pastor, the true pastor that God sends, Jeremiah chapter 3, verse 15, they say things to pierce your heart. Fake pastors, they say worldly things that's pleasing to your head. And so with one Bible verse, the rest they fill up with worldly things. That's the fake. You need to discern. That's 1 John chapter 4. God says to discern. 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10. After you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself perfect, confirm, strengthen, and establish you. Amen. So you want yourself to do well, you want to surely go to heaven, and you want your children to do well. You know, they've got exams the day after tomorrow, and you want your children to do well. What is it for your children to do well? Like a beast? When God talks about dog pigs, so without faith, you're a dog pig. Even if you believed and then you depart from the faith, you're a dog pig pig. That's 2 Peter chapter 2 verse 22. Why does God say dog pig? Well, what we raise up most close to people are dogs and pigs and that's what God um, expresses as. So dogs have a high IQ. Pigs, they seem foolish but they have high, high IQs too. So so with that same IQ, if you if they live with humans for a long time, they get affection. If you give a dog to to a child and then you sell that dog, the child will cry because that affection, because of that beastly affection, that's uh, Proverbs chapter twenty one verse twenty five. But these but these lusts it kills yourself. So people who carry around dogs who are close to dogs, they're the worst of evil because they live according to human affection, so they kill themselves. The more you're like that, you have a bad spouse relationship and your children are problematic. Why? Because your heart is with the beasts. But if you have the love of God, no matter how much you like animals, you rule over it, you subdue it, and so you're not close to it. So whatever fate, destiny, because we received it as as her heredity, you say, there's nothing I can do. You say, I'm old. There's nothing I can do. These people who are discouraged, it's all, it's the Almighty One who does it. He says it will happen. But wor worldly scholars, they say, you know what? You can tell someone from when they're young, you know, um, f from a young bud or, you know, your habit at age three. And so they say, the. It, you know, they even at churches, they say things where they've already given up. But God says, 
whatever mental disease, whatever disability, if you just If you just let that alone, then it's going to come out again in your descendants. He says he's going to fix all this. So I'll read it. And the God of all grace. So here, grace, all grace. So it's God who does this. So forced at repentance. Grace is only received in Christ. Why does it say here God? If you go in Christ and receive grace, this is Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7. So 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10, just leave that there and we'll go to Ephesians chapter 1 verse 7 because you have to know about receiving grace. So where is the, the fake that says lies? Those places that say receive grace without doing forced at repentance, 100% that's fake. Without Christ, there's no way to receive grace. What is Christ? Colossians chapter 2 verse 2, Christ is the mystery of God. You say you believe in God and you don't even know the mystery of God and you say you believe in God. People say those lies. After 2,000 years since Jesus came, all the European, European churches are ruined. You know, the facilities, they're made with marble and pure gold. It doesn't work. So grace, other religions don't have this. You know, grace, you know, other religions that man has made, they don't have grace. These are liars. These demons, all men are liars, Romans chapter 3, verse 4. So how can a man make a religion? How can they have grace? If Pastor Park didn't repent and I was a liar, you would all depart because there's no need for you to be here. Even though I say I repent, if, if I repent, if I don't repent for one hour and I preach because of the sins of my heart, of hating to keep in my heart, where there is sin, demons sting, 1 John chapter 3 verse 8. If demons stick, Romans chapter 7 verse 14 to 23, then you start to show that you're double-minded. Without you realizing, you you pre you lie. Why? Because of your ancestors' demons. So because of my ancestors' demons, because of this heredity, I have this dirty personality, dirty physique. I'm so filled with evil. I murder others. If you don't even know that, how can you call yourself a religious leader? So if we find Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, it's only by the blood of Christ. By doing false step repentance to go inside of Christ, that is receiving grace, that is receiving forgiveness of sins. So God is the God of all grace. So to go inside of grace, someone who's received, to go inside of Christ, to receive this grace, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 23, for in Christ we, be, we be belong to God. So all of this grace, in the end, you go to the Lord. The Lord goes to Jehovah. Jehovah goes to God. So God, is the God of all grace. Where do you receive this grace? By the mystery of God, four step repentance. Let's read Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Amen. So it's because of sin, the problem of sin, that, that it doesn't work with God. Isaiah chapter 59, verse 1 to 3. So it's with the blood of Christ that we're forgiven of our sins. In Christ, when we're forgiven of our sins, going inside of Christ is to receive grace. So without forced at repentance, there is no grace. So how much are people lying? You know, we're, we're in the 21st century. How can they, say, uh, on the media, how can they be saying such lies? You know, you say you believe in Jesus. You attend church. Why doesn't it work? It's me that's done all these things not to work. You haven't even heard of the mystery of Christ. It's only in Christ that you receive grace. So the God of all grace. So because of time constraints, we'll go back. We're back to 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 10. So the God of all grace, what is this? Well, it's in Christ. So what do you receive in Christ? You receive grace. So Colossians chapter 1 verse 27, to go inside of Christ is the mystery of Christ. So without doing the, the mystery of Christ, forced at repentance, you cannot receive grace. So it's these fake churches that lie. 100% God says those who preach those sermons and listen to those sermons, they'll all go to hell. They're lies. Colossians chapter 2 verse 8. So where does he call you? 
in, He calls you in Christ, who called you. So He only receives, He only calls those who have received grace. So if you repent of one, one sin, then you, He calls you one. If you've got one spider where, a string, it's, it's, it will break. But if you have many, so if, so the more you repent, it's not going to break. Just because you're here doesn't mean you have a relationship with God. There's as much as you do for state repentance, as much as you receive grace. And that's why Romans chapter 5, verse 20, if you confess a lot, you receive a lot of grace. A spider's web seems weak, but if there's a lot of that string, then even dragonfly can't escape. So all you have to do is give, give up a lot of your sins. So the one who did that, who did according to what God told him to and he witnessed about this, was 1 Timothy chapter 1, verse 15. He said, I am the worst of sinners. If you, if you repent to the point where you can say the worst of sinners, do you know how strong the calling is? And you receive all of God's help as yours. So he says he calls you in Christ to his eternal glory. So fakes, they talk most about glory. Glory, if you don't do four-step repentance, there is no glory. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. So as long as you have sin, you have nothing to do with God's glory. So if you make a denomination between you and I, you argue and argue and argue until you make a faction. 100% you'll go to hell. Why? Because they all have demons. That's Romans chapter 2 verse 8. So God says, if you make my faction, your faction, you divide up. Those who make these denominations and factions, they have demons inside of them. Jude chapter 1 verse 19, they're of the flesh, so they argue and nitpick. 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 3, those people who don't repent, they all make denominations, factions, they have demons, they, don't, they haven't received the Holy Spirit, and they're worse than dogs. Jude chapter 1 verse 18 and 19, and yet they say that they're men. Why is it that you don't do well? Because you keep doing the things that God tells you not to do. And then you say, oh, may my ch child do well in the, in the exam and may my demons depart. Even if you do one thing that God doesn't like, God, he made all of the creation and he gave it to us to rule over. You know, that's how good he was to us. But then, by doing one thing, which was to pick from the tree of the good and evil, and then, and then we're cast out. So you do all these things that God doesn't like. You think you're going to do well? These fake churches, they talk about glory. There's a lot of kids at our church called glory. But glory, if you have sin, you cannot receive glory. You can't arrive at glory. So what is this glory? So it's not just to people. In all, in all things, to all people. Let's find 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. What kind of person am I? What kind of person am I in front of God? What is glory? It's to fix my destiny. If you don't have sin, then your desires are fulfilled. If you don't have sin, then you're righteous. Let's read. Whether then you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. Amen. So what all things, whether you eat or drink, everything has to be done for the glory of God. What is this? Well, verse 32 says, don't become someone who gives offense. You know, you see these people, these riffraff who give offense. Um, they all receive disasters. Let's receive, uh, let's read verse 33. Just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of the many, so that they may be saved. Amen. So glory is, first of all, you can't have sin. So if you want to get rid of sin, the only way is four-step repentance. So these fakes who gather, 
and to talk about glory without doing four step repentance, 100% it's a lie. So, what is glory? In all things, whatever you do, whether it be your children's exams, health, money, spouse relationship, your happiness, whatever it is, and whatever person, whether they're a leper or a crazy person or with cancer, whatever person, to that person, to give them joy, that is glory. So who, who can give joy? Joy is given as a gift from God because that is faith, Romans chapter 15, verse 13. So if you don't have joy, you haven't received this gift of joy from God. Well, how can man then give it? Well, firstly, if I receive glory from God, then all things do well. And you make all people do well. So you may hate to hear this, but if you do according to the word, you'll all do well. Um, men will do well, your work will do well, your children will do well. This is giving glory. This is giving glory. So for this to happen, you, it's to solve sin in all things, all men, to give them joy. So this joy is only given by God. Some riffraff say, oh, let's live joyfully. Stop saying demon talk. It doesn't work. In the world, there is no joy. It's only those who receive the gift of faith, they have joy. That's Romans chapter 15, verse 13. That's where all joy comes from. So if you're that joyful, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 22, that's the best medicine. You're, you start to have a good colored complexion. You have blood, you know, pouring forth everywhere in your blood. So... So to give all joy to pe all people, all things, and to give profit, you know, at our church in Seoul, all over the world. It's because this is profitable through the word, the, through the word, because it is profitable. That's why you come here. So in all things, all men to give them joy and profit. And in the end, they... They, if they can preserve that, then they go to heaven. That is giving glory. So if I have sin, it's not going to work. Romans chapter 3, verse 23. If I have sin, it's not going to work. So by me repenting of my sins, and if you become someone who is called by God, then God himself makes it happen. And so fakes, they say, let's do this, you know, fervently. That's a fake. If we could do it, then we wouldn't need God. If you obey four-step repentance according to the word, if you confess your sins, 1 John chapter 1, verse 9, it's when we confess our sins, or then it's joy that comes because glory comes. God gives this. So if you don't have sin, then you're surely righteous. Let's find Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7. So because I become righteous, then I get my desires, my children, a thousand generations, receive blessings. This is God's promise to us. So if you do four-step repentance, Proverbs chapter 20, verse 7, let's read it. A righteous man who walks in his integrity, how blessed are his sons after him. Amen. So you want your children to do well. Well, if your children do well, you have blessings in your late age. You know, if your children do well, they serve their parents. They have sibling affection. If your children do well, then they're patriots to the country. But I have to become righteous, starting from me. So 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10, I'll read it. So the God of all grace. So what is that? So it's in Christ. So those who have received grace. It's those people that he calls to his eternal glory. So you give joy and profit to others, you do good works to others. Who's going to hate you then? The demons hate Pastor Park, but, but they like me because there's nothing except for them and their children and their country to do well. That's what Jesus did. So this is the blessing we've come for. This is the blessing we've come for. So who does this? God himself. So what does God do? Himself. So is it something we do or is it something that God does for us? As much as we receive grace, as much as we do four-step repentance, it's God who does it. 
So it's not we who become righteous. When we confess our sins after doing false step repentance, God gives us grace. As much as you receive grace, God makes it happen. So because God makes it happen, who doesn't it work for? Everyone, it works. So it's as much as you repent. So let's greet the person next to us. Because God does it, that's why it works. Because God does it, that's why it will happen. Because God does it, that's why it will happen. If you and I were told to do it, you and I, we, wouldn't, we couldn't do it. But where do you have to go inside of for it to happen? So it's inside of Christ, inside of the mystery of Christ. Let's say, inside the mystery of Christ. So that's where, he, that's the only place he calls us. So those who are in Christ, that's who God makes it happen. So let's receive this blessing for me to do well, my children to do well. Is this amen? And when we pray for our country and our people, when that person prays, the person that God helps, when they pray, God hears. So let's make our country and our people do well. And then if we make our children do well, God will hear. If you become righteous, then it's Almighty God Himself who will make our descendants receive blessings. So let's all receive this. Lord, thank you. Let's call upon the Lord three times and pray. Lord, 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 Father, who makes it happen Himself. May all our desires be fulfilled and may we pass blessings to our children.